process of vetting the 51 principal secretaries who were nominated by President William Ruto has commenced. Now appearing before the different committees of the National Assembly, PS nominees told the committee members to approve them, pledging to bring on board positive changes to their respective dockets. Only few hours after the High Court ruling, which gave a green light to the National Assembly, to proceed with the vetting process of President William Ruto's 51 principal secretaries, the PSs appeared before the respective committees of the National Assembly one by one. I, Charles Hinga, do swear that the information I shall give before this department committee on housing... Appearing before the Land Committee, PS nominee for Land Nixon Korir, told the committee that he will work with the government to solve the land issues which have been hailing the sector. An active case, which I even watched the other day, the issue of Westlands, uh, where uh, a lady there, uh, uh, so, uh, a lady there is being, it looks unjust, uh, I don't have the facts, but it's being, uh, it's being uh, the property is being uh, taken away from her. And I know there are cases where rogue officials, land officials, have participated in such uh, acts. Uh, as a PS, I will ensure that uh, those officials are brought to the book. There is a department of, uh, under the DCI that is dealing with the land fraud. Uh, I will collaborate with the DCI, with the EACC, to ensure anyone, even if it's an official or anyone, uh, that is uh, involved in such acts are brought to book. Appearing before the Urban Planning and Housing Committee, PS nominee for housing Charles Hinga pledged the committee that you will work hard to ensure decent housing in the country. Health chair, the reason why healthcare is bankrupting our people is largely because of the way we live. Our people don't have clean water. Uh, that's why they get uh, these primary diseases, typhoid, cholera, and so on and so forth. And those are the things that are bankrupting our people. So if we focus on sorting out the housing or what I call human settlement. Because, Chair, yeah, when you build those houses, you must build schools, you must build clinics, you know, you must build, um, uh, you know, parks and so on and so forth. You are able to solve a lot of the issues. Inga told the committee that he approved will improve the livelihood of Kenyans living in slums. We've actually started the journey. Uh, the first thing that we have done is that we have brought in the Kibra community uh, is Nubian, largely Nubian. Uh, that's a, uh, the owners of that land is a Nubian community. In, in the next two or so weeks, we shall be gazetting a, a, a task force uh, that will be helping us uh, with this that particular process of identifying who are the affected parties. So, Chair, we have a plan uh, to uh, deal with Kibra, and I believe it will be in our lifetime. Mohamed Dagani, the PS for Transport, also made his commitment before the committee. Uh, an initiative we are working in building what we refer to global peace uh, strategies with 10 countries. Kenya was one of them. At that time, the country was undergoing what was referred to as the security sector reforms. After that, I came back to the country and I have been working. After the vetting process, the list of those who qualified will be submitted to President William Ruto for formal approval and then the swearing in process will take place. Reporting for Lookup TV from Parliament Buildings in Nairobi County, my name is Shadrach Kareria.